Do you want to get insights from your meeting attendees by using polls, but without making them leave to go to a third party site? Then I've got the Teams feature for you. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft and today I want to talk to you about some new features that have dropped into Teams and specifically in Teams Meeting. This is around meeting extensibility and what that means is that we can bring apps into meetings so that it happens within the meeting canvas without making people leave to go elsewhere. So you'll have experienced if you maybe asked uh, your meeting attendees a question using something like Microsoft Forms that they needed to click the link and then the link opened up in a separate window. So no more, you can now do all of that straight from within the Teams meeting window. So let's have a look at it. So here I am uh, in my Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna set up a new meeting and I'm gonna call it next year's priorities. Okay, and I'm gonna invite a few people. So I'm gonna invite Nesta, I'm gonna invite Adele, I'm gonna invite Miriam, and we're gonna invite Lee, there they go. Okay, so I've set up my meeting just as normal. And then ahead of time, what I want to do is go into that meeting and just open up the meeting and I want to set up any poll questions that I've got. Okay, and I can do this by going up to the top here to this little plus symbol and adding a tab. And then you can see there are a brand new section of apps here that says optimized for meetings. Um, and there's lots of different apps here. Now, depending on what switch on or off in your tenant, you might see different things, but hopefully you'll see Microsoft Forms, which is the one that we want to use today. Okay, and we expect to see more and more apps coming in that will enable themselves to be embedded in Teams meetings. So I'm going to click add on here, and this is now going to add itself into my meeting. So just got a little bit of information. So I'm gonna click save. And now once that's in, I can start to create my polls. So a poll is one question, but you can create multiple polls to happen throughout the meeting. So I'm gonna create a new poll here. Okay, and if you've used forms before, it'll look very similar. So let's get rid of this, okay. And I'm gonna say, what should be our biggest priority next year? Okay, and I'm gonna give the options of training, benefits, let's do two more, uh, accessibility, or efficiency there we go and i can set settings to say maybe that it's going to be multiple answers so you can answer more than one um or do we share the results automatically after you voted so you can see a running total um and do we keep those responses anonymous so i'm going to leave everything as it is and i'm just going to click save on that um and then if you wanted to add another poll question after that then i could just click create new again Okay, and let's say, how did you rate HR support this year? Okay, so I'm going to say, good and fast, good but slow, poor. There we go. I'm just going to leave that in there as well, just so that we can see how it works with having multiple polls. So you can set all of those up ahead of time. They're in there as draft. Um, and then when it's time to start your meeting, you just click join just as normal. I'm just gonna turn off the camera and the microphone so I don't get any feedback here. I'm gonna join my meeting. Okay. And you can see that there's a new button at the top here which says polls. And it's got this forms icon. So when it's time to ask that question, all I need to do is click on here. And then I can see that I've got my two polls are here. Okay. So I'm going to take this first one, what should be our biggest priority next year? But let's just maximize the meeting. There we go. And I'm going to click launch. And then what will happen is instead of giving a link, someone have to go elsewhere. You can see that it's actually just popped up in the meeting. So now what we can do is we can vote on that and click submit. OK, and we'll see other votes come in there. And then when we're done with that as a participant, you can click done. Uh, and as the poll organizer or the poll owner, um, we can just click close poll when we don't want that to come anymore. And then maybe we carry on through our meeting. Uh, and then if we just scroll down a bit, we say, oh, we want this poll in now. But again, just same as before. I click launch. The poll will pop up. There we go. And we can say HR support good and fast. 
there we go and i can click done now our meeting just will just run as normal uh, and when we're ready to finish our meeting the meeting finishes now a follow-up as the meeting owner is that i can uh, or as the poll owner is i can export those results so let me just close this one off uh, so that we don't get people keep on voting on it okay so you can see what the summary was here but i can export results and it says go to file and downloads if i go to files here and downloads i can see here is our download that we've got so i'm going to click that there and that will open up in excel and you can see uh, what time the poll uh, the poll response happened who was the uh, person who did it what was their email and what was their response so you can use that and then go and take it off and do graphing and things like this so you can see that it's really easy to set up polls using microsoft forms and meeting extensibility in teams hopefully you find that useful and i'll see you again on another video